One of the really helpful options in Canvas is the ability to have discussions. Um, and we've already used discussions earlier in the course so that you could post a reply to my question about um, where you were coming from and, uh, and uh, you know, how far you traveled as an opener in the class. But I also want to, again, encourage you to use the discussions to um, help each other out by posting questions that others might have the same questions for, as well as offering answers when you think you know the answer if you work something out, because that could be really helpful um, both for me, but also for each other um, in making the class run a little more smoothly, because it's going to get hard for me to answer every single question. So again, let's just kind of walk through the process of using the discussions. So when you log into Canvas and you go to the course, you'll see discussions on the left-hand panel. So you click on that and go to the discussions. And so there's several different discussion topics. Um, they're all called discussions, but I've organized them so that ideally we can uh, po post the appropriate question in the appropriate section. That way people know where to look. So when you look in the discussions, what you should notice on the right-hand side are these numbers. The numbers in blue indicate uh, replies that you haven't looked at yet. They're, they haven't been read. And then the ones in gray are uh, the total number of replies that have happened within the discussion to, to give you a sense quickly of how much activity has happened in there. So uh, one of the issues with Canvas is initially the way the default setup, it um, tends to mark anything that you've glanced at as being read, even if you didn't actually read it. So what I want to encourage you to do is to set it so that it will you will have to manually say when you've read something that way it doesn't automatically dismiss it the minute you've looked at it so that um, you'll know whether or not you've actually read it so when you're in that this main discussion form area and the right hand side on the upper right you'll see this little uh, gear symbol and so if you click on that it'll prompt you to um, check off manually mark posts for, as read and I'd like to check that off and then hit save settings and what that'll do is it'll ensure that when you look at the discussion forms, you'll have to manually say that you've read them. That way they're, they're not um, uh, dismissed too quickly and then you forget whether or not you looked at them or not. So for example, if we go into the labs and quizzes section, which is probably where most of the activity is going to happen, that's where I definitely want you to post questions and responses to uh, anything to do with, again, the quizzes or the assignments that we do in the class. Um, if we go in there, um, we can scroll down and again we see on the upper right the, the number of unread replies and the number of total replies. What you'll also see is that um, those that you haven't read will have a little blue on the left hand side as well and that indicates, indicates that they're not read. So what you'll need, once you've set that setting to say mark, uh, manually mark as read, um, you'll need to click on that to uncheck it to say that you have indeed read it and I would encourage you to do that so that you can for yourself organize which ones you've actually looked at and which ones you haven't. Uh, and also I want to encourage you to reply. And when you want to reply directly to somebody else's reply, uh, you'll see the reply option right underneath. If you, however, want to post a new question within the section, then definitely use the reply that's at the very top. And that way you'll have a separate section. And again, always when you post a reply, the first line should be the subject of what you want to uh, ask. If it's, if it's a clear question, just straight away ask the question. But if you want to make a comment, the first line should make it clear so that people can uh, browse quickly and, and find uh, what they're looking for. Now, by default, Canvas also um, has all of the replies expanded so that you see everything. And so you kind of have to scroll down to find things. And that's, um, if you want to browse through quickly, it's no problem. But maybe it's a little too much and it might accumulate over time you can collapse the replies so that if you do that what you'll see is um, just the name of the person and the initial lines of the of the reply so that you can more quickly scan and again you can tell which ones have been read or not read that's a quick way to do it the other way to quickly kind of sort through to see which ones you've looked at and which ones you haven't is to click on this unread button and then that'll just organize just the replies or sub replies uh, that you haven't looked at. And it's probably a more thorough way of doing it because when you just collapse the replies, you only see the, the, the first reply and whether or not you read it. If there's been any subsequent replies on that thread, uh, that might not show up. So, the, so clicking on the unread button in the discussion form is a much uh, more efficient way of quickly finding what you haven't looked at. And again, I do really want to encourage you to use this space to either ask a question that you think somebody else might have and, t and typically if you have a question somebody else has the same question but also I really do want to encourage you also to offer replies 
if you have found the answer or you know especially if it was a little difficult to find that you could you could help everyone else out again not giving the answer away but definitely incur but pointing people in the right direction and giving them directions on how to go about finding the answer so that's it and again if you have questions please post them in the discussion forum